Hello guys, this is Adam. I hope that you are doing good and we are testing Twin Motion and the version that we are testing is Twin Motion 2022.1, the preview version which I do have right here. I have already opened and this is the material room and we can walk with it and we are getting an average of 70 frames. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to take a look at the settings so let's see so that would be edit and then preferences so the preferences i want to go to the quality the quality it's custom so what i want is to do high so let's do high and then let's double check high so with high we are getting 65 i would say the average for this project um, which is the material room is around 65 it does go up when you are outside because there is less materials and then it does go um, down when you are inside because you have so many stuff to deal with as for gpu performance you can see right here and then the cores a lot of the cores are being used so it seems this is new version will be taking advantage of the course but it's still not a huge because here it's still using around 20 percent from the cpu which is the normal and that's the same results that we got with the lts previous version for the 2021 which you can definitely check on the channel i do have testing with and speaking of which the machine that we are testing on is the m1 macbook pro 14 inch with 16 gigabyte of ram 14 core gpu and 8 core cpu so that's the base model that usually runs for two thousand dollars with the pinned gpu or the pinned cpu but keep in mind this version is not stable so actually to run it i had a couple of issues for example when i wanted to pick stuff from here it, it doesn't it doesn't do it like uh, <laughs> it's really hard to pick something with it so this version is still not stable so if you want to download it and test it yes but if you want to work with it you cannot the performance is decent but the problem is not with the performance because if you cannot choose anything and just put it anywhere and do some testing then there is no point so what we will do is we will go to the new let's say demo which is the lake house retreat and we will definitely test the lake house uh, retreat and then see the performance there and with opening files i have noticed it is slower as well but again keep in mind this is a preview version which means it's kind of a beta version so it's not the final version because definitely with the um original version if you want to open a file it would be way faster than that and if you have watched the previous videos that i did about twin motion you definitely have seen that and sadly with this because i just cannot pick anything i cannot for example pick a tree and then just put it to test and what we are getting here is around 100 frames so if you go outside you start getting the 90 to the 30 and then the cpu is not being used as much but the gpu is being used to 100 percent and we can go actually right here and see the usage of the ram which is 12 gigabyte and by the way if my voice is low that's because it's a 3 a.m right now when i am recording this is my life now the cpu is not being used as much but the gpu is being used like crazy so definitely if you want to use a twin motion you need to get um the better cpu so you can have the better gpu as well and more ram because this is a unified memory so basically it's a shared ram between the gpu and the c uh, and the ram itself so since it is shared the more ram that you have the better your graphics would be or your gpu would be so that's something to keep in mind and we are getting in the realm of 26 frames when we go here it's definitely heavy and taxing on the machine but overall it's doable and it's still giving me the green sign that's it so this is okay to work with but overall i wouldn't you know depend on it and since this version is still very early on it's it's not something dependable or it's not i cannot take this results and say oh this is the results because this is still in beta and it's still being optimized so i cannot say whether that's the fault of the machine not being able to handle it or the software is not being optimized but i think the software is not being optimized is the correct way um, because I will open right now the material room with the original, uh, let's say, twin motion, and then we will see the performance, and the performance would definitely be better than what we are seeing right now. So let's go ahead and just do that. So right now I have changed to 2021 1.4, uh, uh, and we will go ahead and launch it, and we will see the project. 
So we do have the project now open with the original uh, version and then with the original version is definitely more stable and it's easier to use and I feel it's smoother overall and we are getting at least a stable frame rate. Um, so that's something to keep in mind for the uh, preferences what I did I did put it on uh, high so that's what we are getting we can go to medium for example and then with we with medium it's like we <laughs> it's super fast because we are getting an average of uh, 120 frames and overall this performance is definitely better than the new preview version now I am not saying the new preview version is bad or the new 2022.1 is bad it's just because it's in a preview which means it's in beta so it's not a sub software that you can depend on and it's not a software that you can use and if you have been watching me for a while you know that I have a very particular let's say set of ideas when it comes to software that is not working and why I am advocating for Apple products to begin with because they just work and the software should work as well you should not give the software and then it's not working because even here if I wanted for example to import something or if I wanted to add a shader or to add whatever I need to add I can do that so for example I can go there and I can pick a tree and then I can put the tree right here and then I can pick another tree and put it right here pick that and put it right here put it right here and put it right here and put it right here right here right here right here I can do that night and day and I can pick and choose and put whatever I want to put. But with the other version, I wasn't able to do that. Sadly, I cannot test the new uh, lake house with the original twin motion. Um, I guess th the new one is optimized only for the new version. So that's something I cannot test. But hopefully this would give you a better idea. So do I recommend using the preview or uh, depending on it? No. Is it too early to tell if it's good or bad? Yes, it is ear too early to tell if it's it's good or bad because it's still in the preview stage which means it's still even alpha not beta i cannot depend on it but overall the performance of the new one as it's a stand it's not very good on the m1 max yet this version which we are using right now is definitely way better and again let's go back and then change the preferences and go back to high and with high we are getting an average of 60 frames and then we can go to ultra and then see with ultra da, 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 da. holy cow with ultra the quality is much better but we are getting an average of 30 frames i would say or 35 frames and that is good overall that's the kid my friend from the other video yes that's everything if you have any questions or concerns leave them and uh, tell me what your favorite beverage is and i will see you guys soon with uh, cycles x for blender take care bye bye